Another cool feature is the virtual desktop change. It's similar to macOS and Windows, but if we activate the cube mode, which I found it awesome, we also have virtual desktops with cube rotation, which is neat and well executed. And today we are going to take a look at a operating system capable of replacing Windows 11 or even Mac OS. It is right over here installed on my laptop I've been using for the past few days and I want to share with you everything that I know so that you don't waste your time and at the end of this video you will be able to decide if this is the operating system for you or not. Now as we can see it has a really clean and simple interface, easy to install and use, it is lightweight with an intuitive app store and thousands of apps ready to be used with just one click and much more. It is called Zorin OS version 17, which is the latest version available. It is free and in my opinion, totally capable of replacing your Windows 11. And if by the end of this video, you still haven't swapped your Windows 11 and it isn't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, the link will be down below, just next to the link for the Zorin OS free download. That being said, let's go take a closer look at it. Now to install, we just need to go to the Zorin website and download the Zorin OS version 17. There is a pro version which costs roughly 50 euros. We are not going to use it today. So we just need to download the free version. And after we download, we can create the bootable USB drive, which at this moment, I believe that you are aware of. Or if you have a Ventoy pen or a Medicat USB pen, then we just need to grab it and put inside our pen. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave two links down below on how to create a Ventoy or Medicat pen, which basically it is a USB drive like this one right over here that I can place seen several operating systems, Windows, several versions of Linux, Proxmox, whatever we want. And then when I put on any computer, I just need to decide which operating system I want to use. In this particular case, I did drag Zorin OS to the USB pen drive and then boot it up and then did decide to boot Zorin OS, which by the way, if we want to try, we don't need to install Zorin OS. In my particular case, I did install. So I did insert the USB drive into the PC that I'm using. And after booting up, the installation was really quick and simple. Just answer some normal configuration questions like Wi-Fi and so on and so forth. And in a few minutes, we have a Zorin OS up and running. If we don't install it, it's even quicker. Now, when I got to the desktop, I did find this right over here. Actually, the design was not exactly the same with the layouts and the wallpaper, but I really enjoyed the simple design and the appearance. It's lightweight and we can easily change the look between four different layouts. Here, we are a bit limited because the Pro version has more layouts, but I do believe that these four are enough. We can also choose various themes, backgrounds very intuitively. And of course, we can also use any other wallpaper besides the ones included. But I really like the simple way that it works. Another thing that I just loved was the behavior of the right click button. We can select various options, very similar to Windows and some similarities to Mac OS, creating folders, organizing icons, deleting objects. Everything is so easy, very intuitive. So anyone that has used a Windows or Mac OS computer will be just fine. Or anyone that has never touched the computer before will be also just fine, which is not easy to find on a operating system. We can also easily access the screen options. It can support the maximum resolution of my actual monitor at this moment, which is 4K, but I do believe that it could support even higher resolutions. And we also have access to general options for Wi-Fi, network, Bluetooth, and other simple and more advanced system 
options. One thing to note is that on many other operating systems, sometimes we have issues with drivers. This is a laptop with an Intel i7 8th generation, so you can do your calculations. It's not new hardware right over here, but it did detect every single component of the hardware, webcam, the touchpad, everything, the graphics card and so on and so forth. So I could use everything and I can still use everything without messing around with drivers because the system grabbed everything installed on its own. Just like Windows 11 works most of the time with most of the hardware, I did find the same with Sorin OS. Now it also comes with a lot of pre-installed applications that will allow us to start using the PC immediately for basic functions in terms of image, video, sound, documents. In fact, LibreOffice is already pre-installed, which I did find great that someone that grabs a computer and installs Zorin OS will just be ready to start working and LibreOffice is one of those that will give us the freedom to start working. Now, if we want to install more apps, there is something which is probably of everything. My favorite option in that is the App Store. Now, this is the easiest way. Just use the App Store, which has thousands of apps that can be installed with just one click, as if we were in the Play Store, Windows Store, or even Apple Store. It doesn't lag behind any of them. It's divided into several categories, and here probably it should have more categories to lower the number of apps, which is huge in each category, but it works great and we have a lot of choices. If we need to search for a specific app, we can search and we will find it there. So we just need to press a button and install the app. I did start with OBS right away, which is a tool that I use on a daily basis. Actually, to do this video, I did record about two or three hours of video, perhaps with OBS. So right over here on Zorin OS, I just installed OBS with one click and in one to two minutes, I was ready and I was recording the screen of my laptop with Zorin OS without any issues whatsoever. Nonetheless, talking about recording the screen, there are some details and this is one of them. If I go to the taskbar right over here, I have the option to record the screen, to take screenshots and it's something so intuitive that I don't need to search for it. I will by chance find that option, which was what it happened. So I just find it and okay, this is the option to record the screen, similar to what we can find on QuickTime on macOS and similar what we can find with the clipboard on Windows 11. So small touches that at the end of the day bring us a really awesome experience. If we want to install anything that it's not on the App Store and if we want to use more advanced ways, then we always have the terminal. So we will be able to do anything that we can on any other Linux version. Another cool feature is the virtual desktop change. It's similar to macOS and Windows, but if we activate the cube mode, which I found it awesome, we also have virtual desktops with cube rotation, which is neat and well executed. Just take a look at the animations, really awesome. and. I don't feel like it makes the hardware slow down or anything. Everything worked great on the visual side of things and also on the hardware side of things without any issue whatsoever. Finally, in terms of gaming, I was curious to see how it behaved. I did install also Steam and installed Rocket League, which is a game that when I have the chance, I like to play it. Now, I did try it out and the experience was also really awesome. So games won't be a problem as long as hardware can handle it like on any other operating system. So it will not do any miracles, it will just work as expected. I didn't notice any difference from the Windows experience. So if you want to play games and work and if you want to do some productivity, record your screen and do tutorials and things like that, no limitations whatsoever. And this is Zorin OS, a operating system that I truly believe that it's capable of replacing Windows 11 or Mac 
OS. And hopefully with this video you are eager to try it out. And if you do, leave a comment down below what is your feeling. You don't need to install like I did. You can try it out with just the pen. It will be able to run out of your pen. If you enjoy it, then you can decide later on to install on a secondary drive like I did right over here or on your primary drive or don't install it at all. But I would love to hear from you what you feel about Zorin OS. So if possible, leave a comment down below. If possible, also leave your thumbs up right over there if you enjoyed the video. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.